Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be high. Please lift your hands. As I pray now, there will be massive deliverances. The fire of God will descend in this place. Chains will be broken right now. The Bible declares in Isaiah 50 verse 5, verse 4 and 5, He said, The Lord has given me the tongue of the land that I will know how to speak a word in due season to him who is weary. God has anointed my tongue with his fire. Lift your hands. And right now in the name of Jesus, every orchestration of darkness that is well rooted in your life, every plot of the enemy, every machination of hell that has been carefully confiscated in your life by the sword of the Lord and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command it to be destroyed now. I command it to be destroyed now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of hell that was fired against you, with or without your notice, and is responsible for your pain, is responsible for your predicament, is responsible for your stagnation, is responsible for unexplainable circumstances around your life. I uproot that arrow now and I reverse it to the sender. I reverse it to the sender. I reverse it to the sender. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, lift your hands. Everyone that is a victim of witchcraft attack. Everyone that is held on by the cause of witchcraft. Your destiny has been trapped in a pot. I'm seeing a pot, a calabash. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. And I see fire descend to destroy that calabash. Anyone whose destiny has been trapped in the coven of witchcraft. By the fire, help them, help them. Shakoskete baria teke teko soma anti fa balaka taka taka rukata. I declare that you are released by fire. Be 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 released by fire. In the name of Jesus. Just help them for me. Every chain of stagnation, every chain of delay, every padlock, Makoto Barukate, Agrata Kapasika, I come as a voice of deliverance. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. I command those chains to be broken now. I command those padlocks to be broken now. Chains be broken now. In the name of Jesus. For he has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron asunder. Every satanic gate, every satanic prison, the power of God will come on some people right now. Everyone who is trapped in any satanic prison now, whether prison of doubt, anxiety, depression, fear, poverty, lack, stagnation, delay, near success syndrome, failure, bad luck, reproach. By the power that descended at midnight when Paul and Silas prayed, I command those prison doors to open now. I command those prison doors to open now. And I lose your destiny. I lose your soul. I lose your life. Out of that prison. Come out of that prison. Come out of that prison. 
come out of that prison in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou art a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek, a priesthood that is stronger than the priesthood of Levi. I stand by the rod of that priesthood. I speak against ancestral covenants. I speak against bloodline patterns, mistakes that are repeated in every generation that is haunting you, that is haunting your destiny. I cancel it forever by the blood. I cancel it forever by the blood. I cancel it forever by the blood. In the name of Jesus. This night, I declare your liberty by the Spirit of God. I declare your liberty. I declare your liberty. I declare your liberty. Just be calm a little bit. Lift your hands, please. I see the anointing resting upon some people for speed. That's what I'm hearing. Speed. The anointing for speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands. Let that grace come on you now. And everything that has been slow in your life, experience supernatural speed. This is seven super Sundays, the season of the supernatural. I declare experience speed, experience speed by the anointing. Let that mantle for speed rest upon your life. Rest upon your life in the name of Jesus. May the grace of favor rest upon your life in this season. The favor of God that connects you to destiny help us. Let it rest upon your life from today. Wherever your helpers are, I force them by prophecy into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is yours that has been withheld. Everything that is yours that is hanging whether in the spirit or in the physical, we force it to manifest in your life this season. We force it to manifest in your life this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your lives and I declare from today, experience the miraculous. In your finances, in your marriage, anyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I command that your womb, well, your womb is open tonight. Let the doors of your womb be open tonight. We declare according to the time of life, we come back with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every aspect of your life experience the miracles in this season. I declare that you will remain healthy in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the final prayer I will pray for you. Oh, two more. First of all, your finance. That in the name of Jesus Christ, let the wind of abundance blow around your life. Some of you have sown seeds, you have fasted, you have prayed, you have done everything. Now I speak by prophecy. Let the wind of abundance blow upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, no more lack. No more lack. No more lack in the name of Jesus. And finally, I prayed it for you last week. I'm praying it for you again. I activate upon your life a spiritual anti-misal defense system. Hmm. From tonight, anything that is launched against you by the enemy, it will return back to the sender. It will return back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by day and night that you are defended. You are covered by the blood. You are surrounded and shielded by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
It says in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5, I shall be to them a wall of fire and the glory in their midst. From today you are shielded by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. The courage to prosper. The grace to excel. In all that you do, rest upon your life from today. Rest upon your life from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally for your spiritual life. The grace to fly. The grace to run and not be weary. The grace to walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, let it rest upon your life. Let it rest upon your prayer life. Rest upon your study of the word. Rest upon your fasting life. I ignite the fire for spiritual activities around your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare it is well with you. Go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' precious name we pray.